a spot over here um, that has some rocks in the water, ballast stones maybe. We're just going to check it out real quick. Tide's about halfway in probably, isn't it? Yeah. So we got to move quick. So we're over here at the point where the ballast stones are on the creek. But the problem is the tide's in too much and it's really soft puff mud so I couldn't get out to the, well, I can't dig here. But as we're coming across, uh, Billy found something interesting and we're going to take a look at it. I got some tabby and it's made out of a, like a form of concrete with oyster shells. They crush up the shells like rock and mix it with a little limestone, I believe. Um, so, so you say that's pretty old typically? It's, it's very old. You see it a lot with Spanish structures and early colonial stuff. Sweet. So we could be on something we here. We could be on something here. That might be why the ballast stones are out there. There's something. Could very well yeah. be, yeah. Yeah, and if you look at the ground here, uh, you can actually see parts of, I guess that's probably part of a structure right there. So there are definitely buildings back in here. You see some more there. So we're going to get a metal detectors out and we're going to hit back in here. So I decided just to work along the shore here a little bit until the tide comes completely in. I'm hearing some iron. Uh, I haven't found anything good yet, but there's some uh, pottery here, Indian pottery. And I found what I think is a little stone tool. This piece here has definitely been flaked. Um, so that's, you know, it's been worked by man. And this piece here has definitely been uh, either ground down, probably ground down. I can't tell if I don't think it's chipped, somewhat chipped down into a blade of some sort. That might have been a bigger piece, but you know that would make that would be a cutting blade. I guess they could have. Well, look at the little lines across there. So maybe maybe they embedded this in something, some type of wood or palmetto, and used it like a knife. Perhaps I don't know, but it's definitely worked by man. So we'll save it. Estuary treasure. Look at that. There's a fishing rod and pole there and another one. Well, I guess that's, maybe that's all one rig, huh? That's the reel. And that's the rod in the top. <laughs> I think I should save it for Billy. He could work on that. I don't think he's gonna want to go. So we ended up leaving that place uh, where it's kind of thick. We hunted around for a couple hours, found nothing except a few modern bullets. We moved some and uh, I'm walking up this path and I'm starting to find some melted lead, so I'm hopeful I'm getting close to something. Billy's about a half a mile away going the opposite direction, checking that way. So we're going to hunt around here for a little bit. If we find like two or three buttons, we'll pack it up and we'll get Billy and get the gator and come right to this spot. Of course, he might be in a good spot too, who knows. This is my second piece of lead that I found in just a few feet and the iron just picked up. I just started hearing iron. It has been a really quiet morning as far as our targets. There's hardly anything at all. Very few nails or anything, but uh, we might be on a good spot right now. We'll get back with you. This is a great find right here. This is probably like a spoon handle pewter. Awesome, there's a lot of targets in here. What we're gonna do is uh, hunt around and see oyster shells. We're gonna hunt around just a little bit. One or two more targets and we'll get Bela. I, don't, I think I might have my home phone, so I'll try my phone, but uh, just listen to this here. So that's all iron. You can pass my shovel. It's getting thicker and thicker the further up I go. You see we're just off the water right there, so there might have been a house here at one time. We'll dig a couple things together. I don't want to get too far from my shovel though. I'm kind of cherry picking to be honest. Listen for the nice, clear signals. There's probably something right there. Let's get a better signal though for you guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. We'll go ahead and dig that together. You see, I have on down to zero discrimination. The reason why I do that is, you know, when I'm out doing this looking for places, I'm not looking for a button and I'm not looking for a coin or I'm not looking for a bullet. I'm looking for a sight, okay? So I'm listening for the iron. 
because the site could be 100 feet across or you know, 500 feet across. So once you start hitting more iron in one area than it is in the other parts of the field, you just kind of zero in on that and try to find more iron and get you know look for where it's thicker and thicker and thicker, and then you end up in a place like this where there's a lot of good targets mixed in. So. I move fast when I'm looking for new places because I'm not looking for that bullet. I'm looking for the site. That's how you find them quickly if you don't have a lot of time like me. So let's get back to digging. I have to find this target one more time. Okay. I'm not sure if that's the same one we had, but I'm going to scuff it with my boot and go get the shovel, which is behind me. And we're going to dig that. And if it's any good, we'll get Billy. Of course, I'll, I'll see if I have my phone first because it's a ways. Go ahead and dig this. And uh, I saw a charcoal in one of my dig holes, so there's definitely something going on here. All right, hopefully, we got that. There's. God, look how soft that ground is. It's awesome. I like that clay that we have back home. All right. See, that's iron. I suspect it fell back in the hole. Let's see. No, it didn't. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah, it took me a little bit to find that, but that's just a piece of buckshot, but it's really old. You can see the mold seam on it, and it has a sprue. And I suspect it's actually unfired, so... All right, one more target. Just one more and we'll run back and get him. Like I said, he's back here a ways. Okay, so we got our first button. It's a nice old one. Um, if you notice here, there's a, I'll fill that hole in just a second. There's a ton of oyster shells and uh, where we're digging, I have discovered that it could be uh, like from colonial times or Indian times. And of course, in the Indian time, uh, shell middens, there's no iron. So you, you can tell it was pretty quick. There's no iron or good target, so you can tell it was pretty quick. But listen to this one and you'll hear the iron. So we know we're on a colonial uh, or you know later house site. You'll see all the shells and just listen to the iron. I have zero discrimination. So it's full of iron. This was in, an Indian shell midden area. There'd be no iron at all, possibly, or most likely. And it'd certainly be none from them. But so I know that we're in a good area. I just got that button, been finding some melted lead. That mean that tells me there's gonna be a house nearby if we're not pretty much on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Billy a call. I know he doesn't know about this one, so. And uh, I think if I have my phone, I'll call him. If not, I'll just walk back. Nothing amazing, but there's a house site here. Right. Got a flat button and a bunch of freedom! <laughs> and, a bunch, and a bunch of melted lead and oyster shells and all kinds of stuff. It's just loaded with iron, absolutely loaded with iron. So I thought, you know, six targets between right there and right there. So, oh, a big uh, pewter spoon handle, too. Nice. That's nice. You know what? Freedom! What you get? Sorry for yelling. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, dude, that's awesome. That is so cool. That's a, uh, that would go on like a leather, you know, some type of uh, you know, decoration. But those hooks went on leather. I don't know exactly what, what it is, but you know, it's definitely colonial era. Dude, that's awesome, man. That's really cool. Only best find of the day so far. It is, but you know what? <laughs> I got the squeak of the squeaks. Dude. I haven't dug it yet. The squeak Coin of the squeak? squeaks. Oh, yeah. All right. The squeak of the squeaks is right here. I had to go take my jacket off. Right there. I even cleared a spot right there. So I want you to listen to it. Squeak of the squeaks. Listen. Shh. That sounds pretty good. I hope that's not it. <laughs> yeah, that's a good squeak right there. So you have the best find of the day so far. Maybe I have it now. Do you see it? <laughs> I don't see anything. Dig down a little bit more. Could be a big piece of brass or something. All right. Hopefully it's a big piece of silver. 
Right there, it's out of the hole. You see it? Do you? <laughs> I don't see it. Oh. oh no! No! I think that's it. I mean, that's like, I don't even know what it is. Like a hot rock. No, it's not a hot rock. It's uh, like a giant chunk of lead or something. Man, that squeaked good. I am so disappointed. Yeah, it's melted lead or pewter, one of the two. I guess you still have the best find of the day so far. Yeah, well, we still got a few hours left. Yeah. I didn't want to jinx myself like I did for that last uh, piece of giant chunk of melted pewter or whatever. So I didn't turn the camera on, but I think I have a nice little buckle here. A little right there. Looky. <laughs> I didn't. Do you? You got the bowl to my spoon. This is where I dug it. Uh, maybe I didn't take it here. Right here. Oh, nice. Is it a rat tail? Yeah, it's a rat tail. See the tail right there? That's a rat tail spoon. Little buckle here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's got, you know, I'm not going to clean it up too much, but got the iron on it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the hole I just got the little buckle out of. I got another squeak here. So I dug something out with that buckle. And I thought I had one over here, too. Yes, I got another squeak there. Oh, sweet. For two hours, we're going to dig fast. <laughs> dig, boo. Yeah, I don't hear it. It might still be in the ground, actually. Yeah, that one's still in the ground. All right, so this is in the ground, and that one's definitely in the ground. So, eh, let's dig it up together. I'm right here anyway. Got my shovel. I did dig a shotgun shell a minute ago, so hopefully it's not a shotgun shell. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's right in here. Do you see it? Do ya? I thought that was melted lead in my hand. Yeah, ah, I thought it was melted lead again. Alright, yeah, okay, so it's a piece of melted something. And uh, that's probably the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig it. If it's something good, show it to you. But if it just melted lead, we'll keep moving. Very first pipe stem, it's just a little piece, but we got one. Out of that hole, I got a piece of lead that's folded over. I'm not sure what it is. Nice little squeaker here. And I think it's probably a pewter handle to like a spoon, maybe. Yep, that's exactly what it is. You see, that's where the bowl would have been. Coming out here. Nice, I like it. Dug a little baby spoon. Look at that one. It's tiny. Really heavy though. Very thick. Very crude. What you got there, man? Is that a treasure? Or a leverite? Probably. Well, it won't be a leverite. <laughs> Oh, that's it looks a little... like it was maybe a blade at one time. Yeah, that's definitely a pocket knife. See the iron? Yeah, it's probably like from a Boy Scout or something. I think. No, there's a pen. What do you think? I think it goes with Yeah, that's probably colonial era. How many find them like that? I think it's a colonial era uh, pocket knife. That is nice. It is. It's nice. I find them in the water, you know, and then you can at colonial sites. That's all we would find at colonial sites. Really? And I found those knives there like that. So sweet. Congratulations, man. Sir, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. We got like an hour left, right? I don't know how to look at the clock. <laughs> got like two hours left, so we got to quit yapping and start digging, right? That's right. I'm being called over to witness a most fabulous find. <laughs> so what you got? Like a knob off a drawer. Oh, sweet. That's it. That's beautiful shit. Oh, that's heavy. That's nice. That's heavy as can be, isn't it? Mm hmm. <laughs> sweet. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I like that. I bet that give a good signal? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's where they hide. So I have my first possible copper coin. It's very thin, though, so it might be a button. I haven't looked at it yet. Thought we'd look at it together. What do you think? Is that a button or a coin? Let's turn it over. Can you 
you tell? <laughs> I think it's a coin. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a coin. I'm going to clean it off on my pants leg, and then we'll get right back to you. All right, there she is. It's uh, George II. I don't know if we'll get a date off of it, but we might. But not right now. There you go. A coin. You happy for me? Heck yeah. <laughs> Took a baby button and <laughs> flew over here in the bushes. Oh, we can find it. Oops, just lost it again. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little baby one. Got the shank on it though, so that's always nice. That's where I dug the baby button. I got a little squeak beside it. So I decided to dig it out. And you see how dark the soil is? Of course, there's lots of oyster shells and stuff in there. But I do have a good signal now. Right there. But there's also some other squeakers. Might be something there. You hear all the iron. So let's go ahead and grab this and that. And what we're going to do then is we're going to widen this hole out. Because there might be uh, some good stuff in there. That's not it. That's not it. All right. I knocked it behind me. This could be a chunk of lead or... Oh, it's a thimble! Look at that! This is a thimble that you would wear, of course, on your finger. And it's got the little dimples in there as for sewing. A few young whippersnappers who don't know about sewing. That's pretty cool. That's a good household find. And I think there's another target right here. So let's go ahead and grab that while we're here. Yeah, I think it might be. There's so much iron, though. Things get masked. Yeah, it's definitely not unfair. It's not, I don't think it's very big, though. Is that it? No. <laughs> I see coins. Everything I look at is coins. I don't know if this is it or not. Um, might, yeah, it might be. It's very small. Ah, I dropped it. That pinpointer would be useless in here because there's so many nails. It's very, very small. It's probably a little piece of either buckshot or melted lead, I would think. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off. I saw something around, but it might have been a, uh, a rabbit pill. That might be it right there. See it? I think it's a little piece of buckshot. Yep. Not a rabbit pill. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So Billy moved the uh, machine, and he dug a button underneath it. What is it? Oh, that's pretty. Can I see it? Yeah. That's a fancy little button. Yeah, careful cleaning that one. I'll probably just let I it like dry it. and hit it with a brush. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Awesome. All right, I guess that's going to end it for today. We did really well. I had a lot of fun. I really so pre I. appreciate you inviting me down here. Glad you got to and, come. Uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun camping out last night. It was. A lot of crazy stuff, wasn't it? Next time I put on dry socks before I go to bed. <laughs> yeah, you were pretty cold, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. I was toasty. I was really toasty last night. Go ahead and show you a few of the things we found today. We gotta head out because you gotta get home and go back to work, right? Yep. Aw. Not me though. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna turn if you come up with me, I'm gonna turn you loose on another place. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go up his place and hunt for deer, so so that ought to be fun. Here's some of the stuff we found today. You got some uh, pretty cool uh, colonial era things. A little flat button here and a big old spoon bowl. That's a rat tail spoon. This is one of the coolest buttons I've seen in a while. Can't wait to get that cleaned up a little bit. Is that glass on there, you this say? Looks like, this oh, that was glass, too. That one's got glass. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool, too. That goes, you can see where the hooks are bent over. I think it goes into leather. I I definitely have seen those in books. I think I have, might have one. That's pretty cool. A nice big old heavy piece. But this coin today, a King George II copper. I have not cleaned off the date. It's really wiped. It would be right down here, but 17-something. Few things over here. We got some uh, flat buttons. We got some pieces of pewter spoon. 
That's a little buckle, a couple more flat buttons. This is a pig tusk from an old piggy that they ate. Uh, just say one piece of glass. Some buckshot. You saw the thimble. Something. Oh, the baby spoon. That's pretty cool. This is a neat button. I don't know. I don't think I showed you this when I dug it, but it's got the mole mark on the back, which is really cool. And, you know, it's pewter. I don't see anything on the front, though. Uh, a few musket balls, a couple pieces of pottery. That's about it. A bunch of melted stuff. <sighs> All right, man. I guess we're going to have to head out, aren't we? Yeah. I got a, a wet and cold boat ride back. Yeah, we do. And the <laughs> winds are whipping. So you're yeah. going to keep me safe, though, right? Oh, yeah. Always. <laughs> I don't want to drown. I neither do I. Right, if I go in the water, you know what I'm going to do, right? Holler for the life jacket. No, I'm going to <laughs> hold my breath. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, it's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or 